We must stop all the reptilians or we will be destroyed. Look, whether you believe it or not, I know for a fact that reptilian hybrids are real. And I know, and I'm not trying to put them down, I was actually in love with one. I didn't know, I thought she was human. I was in love with her for many, 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 many years. I was in love with her for almost 20 years. I didn't even know she was a reptilian hybrid until 2011 when I made a video of us and I played it back three months later, I saw some anomaly on her face, uploaded the video to YouTube, got 40,000 views in a few weeks and right away I had the doctor at Mercy Hospital tried to poison me. I went to the emergency room for an asthma attack. She tried to poison me through the IV. Okay, see I'm paranoid. I went, I stopped at a red light and this huge truck pulls up next to me. Military guy gets out, runs over to my car door and tries to get in. Two, three, I was stopped at a red light and, and I was making videos about this stuff and this guy leans into the mirror, looks at me and goes, you're talking too much. This guy pulls up in the red uh, zone at a bus stop, city bus, walks into the traffic right up to my bumper, blocks me, but directs traffic to go around this guy who's doing this to me. Then, a week later, I had two military guys try and sneak up in my window at one o'clock in the morning, and I believe my brother was staying the night, I believe they were gonna kill me and my brother. He would have three hours, the military guys would have three to four hours before the sun came up to move the bodies around, to, to uh, stage a suicide. I'm never gonna commit suicide, ever make it really clear to you. I called the police to come out and the police were definitely in cahoots because they didn't ask my brother anything. Cop will always separate, they always will separate you and ask one person there what happened and ask the other witness what happened. They would get witnesses going and they separate you. Never ask them what happened. On the third 911 call that night, somebody hacked into my phone while the phone was ringing to 911 and a voice came on. Somebody used a, a tone box unless it was really a demon. He goes, no one's going to help you. My brother heard that. He goes, what is that? I said, you tell me. You know, this is about, this, by this time it's 3.30 in the morning. Um, I've had cars follow me. I had a whole bunch of stuff happen to me. But this goes on because I was actually being gang stalked since I was at least 10 years old. Now I think it really goes back to when I was three. I was taken down into a canyon by six older kids. Me and my sister and they did some horrible things to us. Went to a uh, report, report to the police. The police arrested him, let him out right away. The therapist said they should come over and play with us so we could forgive them. Monitored, of course, by my mother, but they came over, they brought our clothes all folded up, the clothes that we had left behind in the canyon. They stripped us down, all kinds of stuff to us. They came over and played with us, and uh, they warned us in the canyon if you tell, your house is going to burn down. Well, after they played with us, they came over, my mom monitored it for like 30 minutes. They left. About a week later, the dumpster next to our, our bedroom window mysteriously caught on fire. Now, is this gang stalking? Was that separate? Was that connected? I think it's connected because a therapist definitely hit a bunch of stuff. The police never prosecuted anybody. No one ever got arrested. They only got arrested. They were like locked up for, I don't know, a night, two nights. The stuff they did to us, they were, they were like teenagers. This would have, this should have locked them away for at least five, 10 years, at least. I mean, men in my windows, people coming in my apartment when I was younger, I didn't know things were moving around. I thought it was ghosts. But now that I look back at my life, I 
definitely connects to gang stalking. Had I had caught someone in here, ooh, ooh, it would have been me or them. Somebody would have left in a body bag. That's for sure. Now if I leave in a body bag, I got big information that will knock the public on their ass. Will start anarchy. The top people running the government, like Obama, Hillary, all the top slugs would have to run for cover and hide. Because there's no way they don't know this stuff. Top, I'm just letting, I'm letting you know. Is anyone watching this video, keep your eyes on the top people. And take mental pictures. Because when this shit breaks out and nuclear bombs go off, anything goes off, our leaders are responsible. Now once they had broken the law and allowed gang stalking, where you have police along with military going around terrorizing American citizens, violating the Constitution and other laws on the book, once the top leaders allow that, their credibility is completely sunk. So it doesn't matter what they're guilty of, what they're not, everything that happens, the finger is now pointed at them and they must take responsibility, whether they're guilty or not. Because if I came in your house and stole your TV set, and I didn't get to go to jail for it, the next day your refrigerator's missing, you can bet your ass to Credit Beans, oh sorry, <laughs> you can bet your ass to Navy Beans, it was probably me. On one hand, reptilian hybrids need to know that God loves them and wants them to stop, go the other direction to avoid serious, serious punishments that are coming soon. Two, I want the criminals, we need the criminals, you and I need the criminals to be prosecuted. I mean, 911 has, it's almost been 20 years. And go look at the video, look at the folks that are falling off the, 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 the towers. Look how sad that is. Women holding their dresses down so you don't see their, their undergarments before they die. How sad is that? Us truthers are the ones that have been wronged by the government, so we know the government's not perfect. Then we look into conspiracies and we see a lot of red flags. And we're trying to help America. And I actually believe without the truther community, without, without people that stand up for their rights to bear arms, I actually believe this government would have already taken us and had already had most of us in camps. That's the goal. How to do it is the trick. Because they're, they're trying to do it in a way where we don't see it. So by the time we do, it's too late. But that's the old time goal is to get us all into prison camps. Death camps. It's going to be like Nazi Germany on a worldwide scale. And uh, Hitler was the blueprint. There's a lot of evidence that points to the whole thing being a charade. He was actually working with them. It was all planned out. Even down to the, him losing the war, everything was planned out. It was a blueprint. They were trying to see what they can do, what they cannot do for the future coming generations of the hybrids. Now the reptilian hybrids, for the most part, and I'm not trying to put them down, okay? But they're born evil because they have the fallen angels DNA now their DNA is different than our DNA their DNA was when they fell away from God their fall was a violent fall they were trying to actually kill the Almighty God with their bare hands that's the difference when man fell away it was disobedience so you and me got to correct the disobedient part humans got to correct the disobedient part the hybrids don't have to correct that part they have to correct the disobedient part because they're part man and they have to correct the violent part which is the fall of the fallen angels they got both tendencies. They got disobedience and violence. So it's a it's a harder uh, climb for them. It's a harder job. It's it's, it's going to be harder on them to find their way. But it doesn't matter because if they don't, God's going to judge them sevenfold. Whatever they dish out, they're still responsible for their actions. So they either turn away from what they're doing, or they will be judged at the full extent of God's law, which is not going to feel good at all. The worst pain that they've done on earth has never ever compared to what's coming their way. And you can think of anything you like and it would never compare to it. Because we're talking about God Almighty separating himself from all of us. And when he does, it's going to hurt. The devil hasn't felt 
that pain yet. Even though he rebelled against God, God has never completely separated himself away from Lucifer yet. He loves the devil. He doesn't love what he does, but he loves the devil. He wants the devil to be good. But he knows the devil will never repent. And he lets us know that in the word of God, in the Bible, that the devil will never repent. Because he has grieved away the Holy Spirit. He is so self-absorbed that he can never find his way back. Along with the fallen angels. Now, that's what gives a hybrid very little hope. If most of mankind is going to fall away, and the hybrids are ten times darker and more evil, is what I'm trying to say, then there's a really, really, really good chance none of them are going to make it. That being said, can one make it? Can ten make it? Yes, it's possible. If they turn away from what they're doing, they're going to make it. But the gang stalking programs are being ran mostly by their Chilean hybrids. They're setting up this future police as a beta test to see how it works out. And they're going to roll this out on everybody as the Antichrist rolls out his new system of the New World Order. And there's going to be massive genocide that the world has never seen. The Antichrist will fix the problem, appear to be our savior and our friend, and as soon as we believe in him, bap, that's it. Get your heart right with Jesus before it's too late. Repent from what you've done. Say, Lord, Heavenly Father, I'm sorry I transgressed against you. My, my, I'm sorry for my transgressions. Forgive my sins. And then go the other direction and you will avoid judgment. Thanks for watching. God bless you all. And stay with Jesus Christ. He is the Lord of Lords, King of Kings. He saved me from a light demon. I cried out for his name. He saved me. I know he's real. I was a sinner at the time. If he could save me, he could save anybody. God bless you all.